Namaste and welcome everyone. So today's session is about 35 plus minutes long, not quite 40, somewhere in between. And its focus is on doing some general warming up and opening through the legs, your quads, your hamstrings, the hips, and segueing into some balance work. So in these times, my goal is to always remind myself to find balance, not being too wound up and not being too low in the sense, too down. So looking for balance. And one way to remind ourselves of that is to actually get up and practice a little bit of balance. And then we close with just a few moments of seated breath work to help integrate uh, the work that we just did. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Beginning in child's pose. Big toes touching, knees comfortably wide, preferably wider than your hips, maybe even as wide as your mat. Little press with the hands, we send the sit bones back towards the heels, towards the toes. And then relax your arms down. Um, we begin to just drop into this shape, into our bodies, becoming aware of where we're making contact between the body and the floor. So noticing feet in front of your ankles, perhaps the shin bones, noticing your forehead resting on the floor, could also be resting on a block. And then from your elbows down the forearms to your hands, just noticing pressure and weight, density, firmness. Noticing how your ankle joints themselves are feeling. And the knee joints, your hip joints. Check in with your low back, your shoulder joints, elbows, and wrists. Now become aware of your breath flowing in and flowing out. Noticing perhaps expansion through the abdomen, your belly. And through the rib cage, front of the ribs, side ribs, back ribs. And continuing to notice the field of the body for about three more breaths. And I'm going to slowly lift my head up. Place my hands down flat and come up to hands and knees. We bring the knees under the hips. I want to stack the knee and hip joints vertically and then place my hands so that my wrist joints, elbows, and shoulder joints are stacked vertically also. Noticing the fingers, spreading them comfortably wide, and pressing all ten fingertips down. And then from here, just have a sense of lengthening through the crown of the head, through the upper back, 
through the low back and then out through the tail. Just long, steady breaths for about two more here. And then let's begin to move just a bit with the breath or in checking in with the spine and moving the breath up and down the length of the spine. So I'm going to inhale, lift the tip of the tail up, drop the belly, lift the heart, the chest, and then finally my head. And I'm looking forward, let the belly fill up with that inhale. Then on the exhale, I'm going to take it the other direction. I'm going to start again with the tip of my tail, curl, tuck it, exhaling, emptying out the belly, pressing the space between the shoulder blades up to the ceiling, drawing the chin to the base of the throat. Inhale, release the tail, lift, 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 and it's like this rolling wave up the spine. And then exhale, curl and tuck, curl and tuck, empty out, inhale, lift and tilt, exhale, curl and tuck. And inhale, lift and tilt. I'm going to add in a little bit more now. I'm going to take the hands an inch or two forward. And then on the exhale, tuck the tail and lower the hips back towards my heels once again. Inhale, come up. Lift the tail. Lift the head. Exhale, tuck the tail. And drop back. Inhale, we come up, lifting the tail. Exhale, tucking and dropping back. Adding in another shape. Inhale, lift and tilt, curl your toes under. Exhale, float the knees off the mat. Inhale, release the knees, release the toes. Exhale, curl back. Inhale, up we come. Tuck the toes, exhale, float the knees off the mat. Inhale, release the knees, exhale, drop back. Inhale, forward and up, tuck the toes, exhale, lift the knees, float them off the mat. Inhale, release, exhale, drop back. Adding another shape, inhale, come forward and up, tuck your toes, exhale, lift the knees, this time go further, extend the legs, push them long, lift the hips up, down dog, but we're not staying, inhale, release the knees to the mat, lift and tilt, exhale, curl and tuck, this time leave your toes tucked under, we're going to start to Add a little more sensation into the feet and the toes. Inhale, lift and tilt. Exhale, down dog, lift the knees up, extend the legs fully long. Inhale, knees to the mat, lift and tilt. Exhale, tuck your tail, hips or sit bones to your heels. Again, keeping the toes tucked. One more time, inhale. Tilt. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, knees down, lift and tilt. Exhale, tuck, sit bones to your heels. And we're going to stay here and breathe for three more breaths. Smooth inhale, and smooth exhale. Aware of all the sensations through the balls of the feet, through the toes, maybe even into the arches of the feet. Then I'm going to walk my hands back and come to sitting on my knees. Now, if this is not comfortable, if it's just too much sensation for your feet, 
lift the knees up and we can place a block or a set of books under the knees that will help release some of the tension. Let's go ahead and make a fist and we're going to circle out at the wrist joints. And then press the palms away. Inhale, lift them up, lengthen to the sky. And final breath. I'm going to release hands to the mat. You can remove the block you were using it. Come back to hands and knees, walking the hands forward. From here, I'm going to press up and back to a down dog. I want to lengthen through the arms, draw my shoulder blades down onto the back of my rib cage without wrapping. I want to just grow long through the arms. I want to lift the sit bones and you have a little sense of dropping of the tail also. So there's this something in between, lift and tilt, tuck and under. And there's something that happens in between those two motions. I want to lengthen my legs upwards, Drop the heels down, roll, draw the inner thighs back, and keep the knees from locking out. So feel free to have a little bend in your knees here also. So that might mean the heels float off the floor. Perfectly fine. I want the ears, the head floating between my arms. And long, steady breath, pull the rib cage back. So my tendency here sometimes is to really extend through the upper back or mid back. I want to make sure and pop my ribs. I'm going to pull that back just a bit and grow longer rather than curved. One more breath. And then I'm going to inhale, bring my knees to the mat. And come up, let's step the right foot forward. And relax the back foot, hands to your hips. Now this left knee, if it's sensitive, you could have your knee resting on a pillow or a blanket. And from here, a little sense of the tail dropping, lower abdomen lifting. I'm going to inhale, melt the hips forward. Exhale, come out, and again, inhale. Exhale. So moving in and out. And exhale. Let's do that three more times. Inhale forward. And exhale back. So a good strong push through the front foot. And I'm also actively pressing the left foot down and the left shin bone down. And forward. And back, and then release the arms and inhale, come forward. Perhaps the arms are here. Perhaps you bring the arms up a little higher. And still have an active sense of push through the right foot and through the left leg. And I'm going to inhale, bring the hands to the mat. Exhale, straighten the right leg, send the hips back, fold over the right thigh, but then inhale, come forward again. Look straight forward. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. And let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now here, I'm going to actively push this left, right heel, right heel, 
down into the mat, and then I have a sense that I'm dragging back just a bit. So it's not just a passive stretch into the hamstrings here on this right thigh, but it's also very active. I'm pressing it down into the mat. And then I'm going to release the toes, come forward, tuck the toes under left foot. Inhale, lift the left knee up. And we're going to breathe here. I'm going to push down with my right foot. I'm going to push down with my left foot. And then I want to have a sense that I'm sliding the feet closer towards each other. So they'll meet in the middle somewhere. And then setting the hands down, I'm going to step back to down dog once again. And lengthen into the down dog on all sides of the body. Front side, back side, right side, left side. Now, inhale, knees to the mat once again. And we rise up. Let's step the left foot forward. I'm going to relax my right foot, hands to my hips. So I'm looking for level hips here. That the right side hasn't dropped down and the left side is hiked up. So they're level and square. And I'm going to inhale, glide forward. Exhale, press back. And again, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. About three more times. Inhale, and it's okay here if this knee travels to the toes. Exhales will come back. It's not a loaded position for the knee joint. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then from there, inhale, come forward. Reach the arms up. Press the right leg down. Press the left foot down. Steady breath. And we're going to release hands to the mat. From here, I'm going to inhale, lengthen through the upper back a bit. Exhale, send the hips back, straighten the left leg. Inhale, come forward once again. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, here, we'll pause, I'm pressing the left heel down, making sure I'm not locking this left knee joint out, and I also have a little drag happening. I didn't talk about this on the other side, but this is also a place where you might have your hands on two blocks on either side of the forward foot, if necessary. And then I'm going to inhale, come forward, tuck the toes under, back foot, right foot. Exhale, lift the right knee up off of the mat. I'm going to come up onto the fingertips, push both feet down, scissor the feet together. Very active legs. I feel it should feel like there's a little sense of drawing together and lift, suspension. And then 
come from here. Let's make your way back to down dog. How is this down dog feeling? Perhaps there's a little more space now in the legs. So we can get a little more fold, hinge at the hip joints. And then I'm going to walk my feet to the middle of the mat, and walk my hands back. Have your feet about hip distance apart. Bend your knees. Find your elbows with your opposite hands. And have your lower abdomen and your belly resting on the tops of your thighs. And check in with the head and neck. Is it loose and relaxed? About two more breaths here. Check out your feet. Feel into the feet. Where's most of the weight? If it's drifted forward into the toes, send it a little bit more back into the heels. Release your elbows. Bend the knees more. Hands to the top of your thighs. So I always like to do this in a supported way. Drop the tail. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Pull the belly button in. Roll, 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 roll. Up we go. And come to Mountain Tadasana. All right, so from here, we're gonna do a little standing balance. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring hands together. I'm gonna stay for a moment. Pressing my palms together, go ahead and look down at your hands and that sense of pushing together. Notice how that sends a line of energy from through the right arm, across the chest, through the left arm, into the left hand. And vice versa. So we'll be looking for that connection in our legs also. All right. So right now, go ahead and release the hands. Transfer all the weight onto your left foot. Zip up pubic bone to belly button, in and up. Set your gaze steady on one point. And I'm going to come to tree pose on the right side. So right now, I'm starting with my toes touching the floor. All right, so here's option A in tree pose, Rikshasana. If you want to travel further, you're going to slide the leg up, perhaps to the inner calf. And my goal today is to find these balance poses with uh, actively, without using a, um, a grab with the hands and passively pulling my leg into the position. So if I want to explore moving the foot above my knee, I'm going to work into that hip joint a little bit more. So this is my more challenging side. That's about as far as I go. So I'm going to avoid pushing into the inner left knee. So right now, a lot of pressure through the heel of my right foot. Mm -hmm. That's that. But since I really want to be careful of my left knee, I'm going to take the foot back down to just below the knee. Let's bring the palms back together. Press the palms together. Push the right foot into the left thigh. Push, 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 and vice versa. Left leg into the right foot. And everything comes together and lifts. Navel in and up. Nicely done, and we'll release and come back to mountain pose. Pause. There's a certain sense of rush when we come out of poses sometimes, and so I just explore that sensation, allow my breath to return. And then I'm going to take the second side. So let's do standing on the right foot, bringing, I'm going to go through the 
the different options on this side also again. So I have my toes touching the floor and the heel is above my right ankle. I can still get a lot of a balance challenge here. I can still focus on the pressure between the foot and the leg. Yes. All right, you can explore higher, seeing what's available. Hands on my hips helps me watch my hips that they stay level. And then we're going to explore a little bit higher. So circling motion, getting into that hip joint. Pressing back with the left thigh just a bit. Enough to feel activation in the glutes, hip rotators. Bringing the palms together, press. Press the hands together, press the legs together. Steady breath. And then we'll release and let it go. And breathe. Check it out. Feel what's happening. Okay. Go ahead and step your feet wider than your hips. I'm going to have the toes turned out. So I'm looking to have an alignment between the center of my knees, cap, and my second toes. So from here, I'm going to inhale and reach up. And then on the exhale, we're going to come into Devi Asana, or Goddess Pose. Take the elbows wide, reach them out and away from each other, fingers up towards the sky, and then press the entire arm back. You should feel engagement in the backs of the shoulders between the shoulder blades. Become aware of your feet, pressing the toes down and your heels. And sink and breathe and breathe and sink. Nicely done. Press the feet down, lengthen the legs, release the arms. From here, I'm going to turn my left foot in. I'm going to turn my right foot to the end of the mat, top of my mat. I'm going to bend my right knee. Bring your left hand to your left hip. And then take a half step. Reach the right hand for a, the floor or a block. I'm going to come into half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. And that left foot in the air is actively reaching out through the heel. Left hand can stay on the hip. It might also reach for the sky. Keep drawing navel in. And then gently, I'm going to release left foot to the mat. Straighten, lengthen, rotate the right foot in and the left foot out. So we're going to take the same transition here. I'm going to start with my hands on my hips. I'm going to bend the left knee. Reach, reach, reach beyond your left foot. Left hand can come to a block or the floor. And then we fire up that right leg. From the glutes all the way down to the heel. Right hand can stay on the hip or it might reach for the sky. Breathe. Now you might feel adventurous. I'm keeping my gaze down to the floor. But if you want to challenge yourself a bit further, you would turn your head to look at the horizon or all the way up to the sky towards your right hand. And then we'll come to landing 
all the way up. I'm going to rotate the feet now. So towing in just a bit, heel out just a bit, hands at the hips. Pause. And then let's inhale and reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to blocks or to the floor. If your hands are on the floor, walk them back, perhaps between your feet. I'm going to bend my knees now just a little bit so I can become aware of that lengthening of my legs. On my exhale, straighten the legs, press the feet down, lift the sit bones. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend the knees an inch or two, and then exhale, lengthen. And again, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, lengthen two more times. Inhale, exhale. It doesn't have to be a big bend, just enough to become aware of this contraction in the quads. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Ah, we're familiar with that feeling. I want to keep that constant. Yes, lift the kneecaps up, lift your sit bones up, and steady, steady breath. And then let's inhale, come up onto the fingertips. Heel, toe, the feet under your hips. Bend your knees. Exhale, come back into the fold. Hold opposite elbows. And then from there, I'm going to release my elbows. I'm going to bring my feet all the way together. Bend the knees and lift your heels. Bend the knees, lift your heels. Bend the knees, lift your heels. Come into balancing squat. Dropping the tail, engaging Mula Bandha, pelvic floor in and up, navel in and up. Bring the hands together. Press the palms together, fingertips together, knuckles of the fingers together, thighs together. And one more steady breath. All right. Releasing hands to the mat, knees to the mat. And then from here, come to sitting in Sukhasana, just a simple cross-legged position. I'll well, see, today is an odd number day, it's April 1st. So I'm working with changing up my leg cross when I'm sitting. Odd number days, left leg in front, even number days, right leg in front. And because habits is for me to sit with my right leg crossed in front. So just retraining the hips a little bit, trying to retrain a habit. Um, so I got, grow in terms of um, not being stuck in a groove, right? I'm free to be, go either way, left or right. All right, feel the sit bones rooting down equally. Lengthen the spine upwards. Let the shoulders drop, drop the chin. Go ahead and um, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Close your eyes and feel yourself breathe. Is there movement under the left hand? Is there movement under the right hand? And just notice. There's no right or wrong. I'm simply feeling the breath as it moves the body. I 
Is the breath smooth? Do you hold the breath? Or is it flowing easily and comfortably? How fast or slow is the breath? That's really dependent on how long the breath is. Usually the longer the breath, the slower the breath, and vice versa. So my only goal here is to really drop into the breath and how it feels in the body. Watching the breath and feeling the breath in the body is the quickest way to bring us back into the here and now. Instead of drifting in the past or reaching for the future. Simply here with my breath, however it is. a honest sense of acceptance. Whatever's happening in the breath is good. It's okay. Fast or slow, short or long, gaps or no gaps. Welcome the breath just as it is. We'll watch the breath for about three or four more rounds. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and release your hands back to your lap. And then slowly begin to open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today.